Yeah, they got a list on the app at 925. They countered me at 1200 and now it won't let me put any more bids in, but uh You have a bottle cleaner? What? Wow. Where did you find that? Hmm. All right, let's look for some loads. See if we can get some for Friday. Cash, how many of those yogurts did you eat, dude? Four of those yogurts. <laughs> See if you found something he likes. Stop kicking me, boy. Why we bought, we bought, I bought ooh, four of them. Ooh. Where's your clothes at? You already always take, ow. <laughs> um, the, the truckers, uh, truck smarter is not working right now. So I have to go to each app again and do it. Makes you realize how convenient truck smarter is. What are you doing, boy? No, I'm talking about looking for a load. Crazy boy. So we're going to just go through the regular apps and look at that way. But there's what? Uh, I haven't found one yet. I'm still looking for a load, but there's not that many out there. Just looking through the apps. Yeah, I don't know what you did to the TV. Got what? E-learning. E-learning. Did you eat drink coffee already? No, I gotta make one. Do you want one? Oh, sure. This is the kind of stuff that this cat brings into the house. These two are like, what the heck? So Boots just brought in a field mouse again. All right, let's get this out of the house. All right, now, where the heck did he go? Huh. Come on, get off my back. Kai Kai, no, no. Kai Kai. <laughs> Lucy, where'd he go? You go up in there? Huh? Kylan, get off my back, boy. Ooh. What is it? Well, there's like a little up in there, so. Let's see. <laughs> well, I guess we can't get in there. Kylan, you just can't be on my back. Huh. He ran up in there. Uh, I guess I'll wait for it to come out. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Found it. You found it? Yeah, Lucy knows where it's at. She saw it too, but uh, we can't get in there. Hmm. Well, it's like this big too. Big old field mouse. Eh, Lucy, no, no, don't scratch. <laughs> you can't get in there, baby. <laughs> so I should have never told Tito's because now she's like infatuated with getting it out of there. Yeah. Yeah. What if it dies out there or something? It's not going to die. It's what if the wait. cat got a hold of it? She's going to wait for the coast to be clear. Yeah, do your job. Why didn't you do your job? Ooh, no, not happening. Do your job. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't think you're gonna get him out of there. Maybe you can entice him with some cheese in front of him. Yeah. It's a field mouse. Yeah. I still actually like cheese. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I like peanut butter. Yes, baby. You want? Oh, you want the flashlight? Go get it. Oh, here. Why don't you have any clothes on still? You always take your clothes off. Weirdo. Oh, thank you. Oh, here's your apple. Cool. Yeah, but no loads, guys. Like Jamie Hunt has one load. I think everybody in the South just uh, got back to work, so we're gonna see. Uh, Maybe it's a stay-at-home weekend because I gotta take the Cobra over to um, Charlotte anyways. You know, Tiki. We'll see. Are you playing Luigi? Yeah. Hmm. I see you. Are you hiding? I like your skills, man. Just look at them. Hello, Hannah. Hmm. Hello, Hannah. Here's my lions. Okay, so remember that purple stuff? <laughs> you can go inside there. You can go inside there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't. No, I have the blue ones. Yeah, no loads. No loads today. Might get one later, but it's almost noon. And there's like nothing even on the boards, so. I'll be a stay at home weekend. Uh, 15 minutes, okay, Cash, Kason? So let's check out Truck Smarter and see what we got out here. 
for loads. There are a lot of loads, and I love the fact that this app puts them all in one place. But um, nothing. I have a n obligation to get a my car, my Shelby, over to Charlotte Sunday or Monday. So I'm trying to kind of work that around this, and maybe something that delivers next day or delivers Monday close by. So that's what I'm trying to do because that's what I got to do. So there are a couple loads out there I've been offering on them, but a lot of stuff's getting booked up. Um, I think with the, th the thawing out of South Carolina, loads are starting to get back out there. But there's some Uber Freight ones, Panama Beach, TQL. Nothing that really catches my eye. I'll, I'll bid on that Greenwood Union City because that'll let me be home. But Why would I be hiding from you? Because you do that. You hide. No, I'm not hiding. So we just got done uh, disassembling the crib that all three of the boys have been in. If you want to see that video, check out just Truck and Wife's channel. Um, and something came in the mail. So let's open that up. I think I already know what it is. Um, no real good loads out there, guys. So Truck Smarter was down for a little bit today. In the morning, it's back now. But even when it's down, you can just look at the apps again like you did before. Just search every one. So, yeah, she had a little emotional time right now. That guy was in that crib. This guy was in that crib. And uh, now the last one's in there. So we got to give a new bed. But let's see what's in this box. And uh, I'm putting a couple more bids on some Sage Robinson loads. And then a Coyote load. But... It's not looking good for a loaf of the weekend. Maybe I'll get something tomorrow. Who knows? And uh, still haven't found that little mouse. And I told it, shouldn't have told TW about it because she's looking for it. But maybe Tiki will grab it. We'll see. So it was what I thought it was. It is a, uh, it's called a valley cover. And give these little O-rings here. They go in place right here, which is pretty cool. Nice bolts and everything. ICT billet, what would we do without them? I really wish I could keep this motor, and I'm still thinking maybe I will, but um, just the fuel management, I have to have like a whole different piggyback system. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll kind of walk out there and show you right now. The reason this engine is uh, sought after is it's really strong. It's a generation five, the latest. But the thing about it is they use direct port injection, which is this little plunger right here runs off the cam and it has a high pressure pump. I think it's 17,000 PSI. Don't quote me on that. But um, this direct port, so you actually have the uh, spark plug and then you have this little guy right here, which is where the um, direct port, that's where the injector goes straight into the head. That's what direct port's called. So it shoots the fuel right into the cylinder head um, with these injectors. So compared to this guy, which I bought, that fits the uh, openings for the um, these heads are different than the other head. So it fits that and it has a little hole right there for all the injectors to shoot fuel. And then it's just kind of into the airstream and sh pushed into the cylinder, which actually keeps the valves cleaner. So that's what that is. But to do that, if you wanted to, so they make all these parts to shut it off. Hi, baby. <laughs> Go back inside. You ain't got no clothes on, Bubba. Um, this guy right here. Your mama what? Mama's getting you pants? I'll get you some pants. Let me just show people real quick what we're talking about with this engine. So they make this cool thing that goes on like so. And uh, eliminates all those. Back inside, Lucy. Inside. Um, it covers okay. up these guys right here, which are actually oil ways for the, uh, uh, what's it called? The active fuel management. So, yeah. So they make it a ways to delete all. And give you O-rings and all that kind of good stuff. Made for it. But... Um, I don't know how to manage the injectors. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. Sit I like it. So I'm going to sell all that. I'm sure somebody with a hot rod modification can do it and, like, add more fuel to it or do direct port and port. Let's go back inside. Can we hold you? Okay. But, yeah, we're going to just sell that on the marketplace and everything with it. But that's what came in the mail. It's cold, baby. Yeah. No, we're not going to drive the trucks right now. It's still muddy outside. Okay. Wait for that guy to come back out there. Did he get it? No, I see he's waiting for him to come oh, out. Oh, was he? Yeah, Good let's not smash baby. the dog bowl like that. Boy. Oops. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're calling Coyote because after you bid on something and they counter offer you and you don't accept their counter offer, you count you uh, counter your own on top of their counter offer. They uh, sometimes make it so you can't bid anymore. <laughs> so. That's what happened here. Sometimes you can log out and log back in and let you uh, bid again, but this one did not, so I decided to call it. Now, I haven't called Coyote in a long time, and you'll see all these little reps on my uh, phone right here. 
you try to call someone uh, that you've worked with over the years, but they're all just young guys. I mean, I understand their hustle, trying to make a living as a, a broker or a broker agent, but um, sometimes it can be aggravating. So we gave him a call today, and uh, this is what we heard and came back with. I got a load that I'd like to uh, place an offer on. Okay, one minute. Let me get you on the booking. Uh, the, the load number? One minute. I'm going to turn to you booking. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh. Hey, how you doing? I got a load I'd like to place an offer on. Okay, what's the load number? 2588-1332. Yes, sir. Okay, so this can get picked up uh, today between two and two and four, scaling at one thousand eight hundred pounds, nine pallets, and then gets delivered to Georgia uh, on Monday at ten a.m. They get a rate right now of eight hundred bucks. Yeah, they got a list on the app at nine twenty-five. They countered me at twelve hundred, and now it won't let me put any more bids in. But uh, I would do it for fifteen hundred. Uh, one one one. Sorry, one 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 four zero six. That's right. Thank you. What was that? Couldn't hear you. Give me one second. Let me throw this off for a 15 for you. All right. Thank you. I'm going to put you on a brief hold, okay? Okay. So what we're doing here, guys, is Coyote, when they don't like your offers anymore, they will... <laughs> Not let you bid anymore on them. That's what I showed you that screenshot. Like, um... hey, sir. Yes, sir. The lowest offer that's in there right now is at nine twenty-five or nine fifty. Sorry. Okay, so you guys have an offer of nine fifty, but you haven't booked it. Yeah. Okay, because they they counter offered me twelve hundred about twenty minutes ago, and then they won't let me book anymore. I, I mean, I would take that. Yeah, I would take that twelve hundred. It looks like. Yeah, I mean, the phone just got booked up at 925, or at 950. All right, someone just booked it? Yes. All right, man. Thank you. So right there. Uh, no, I just, they don't, I think they have my MC or something um, in there, and they just, they don't, they're like, once this guy's calling, we're just going to switch the load, but. Tiki Dog is waiting for, oh, I, I just said your name, but I wasn't meaning to wake you up. Um, Tiki Dog's setting traps over here. traps. <laughs> But I uh, see how he said that they would do 820 something, and then they he said, Oh, 925, and they said 950 is the highest offer. And then he said, Oh, someone just booked it. No, that is wrong. Yeah. 
12. That is, well, he said I would take that 12. And he's like, oh, well, someone just booked it. It's because they have me on their thing yeah. as a kind of blacklisted, I would say. But it's okay. Um, but yeah, when you guys come across that, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, you can log out of the app and then log back in. And that sometimes will uh, give you that bidding option again because they just get tired of me making offers, I think. And they just, I think I'm blacklisted from Coyote, to honest, honestly. Whatever, but we make our offers on it, and uh, they were actually combating and counter-offering earlier, but then it kind of stopped, so we're going to go ahead and get that car parked again. It's supposed to be, like, uh, snowing and icing again at, like, at 6 p.m., so I was trying to get something on the truck before then, but we will see if we get anything, and all of these cars need to be cleaned from all that snow, but yeah, I'm going to keep looking. It's about 1.30 right now, but if I don't get nothing, then it's going to be, uh, just get that Shelby up to to Charlotte this weekend, that's what we gotta do. And uh, do some more research on this stuff, but I don't, I really wanna get rid of the direct port, so I might just go back to a Gen 3 6.0 or something like that out of an 04, because uh, that stuff, it's not that easy to maintain and keep going, so we'll see. But yeah, wish me luck on the load. If not, yeah, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, no load today, but not all is lost. Looks like Lucy actually got the little mouse. <laughs> T-Dub sent me that video. I just left, uh, run some errands, go to the bank and go into the store for a second, but no go, no loads out there. I think after the snow, everyone got back to work. I don't know what the case is, but nothing worth worth doing anything with. So we're gonna hit the bank and then, um, is the bank closed? Looks like there's nobody. Oh no, someone just pulled in there. But anyways, um, that's pretty cool. Thanks Lucy for getting the, the bad rodent from the house. And we'll see if we get anything for Saturday or Sunday. But we do have to deliver the Cobra in Charlotte on um, Sunday or Monday. So I was trying to kind of get something that was going to let me do that, you know. So I hope that helps somebody today with kind of the Coyote app. Um, Coyote's not a bad company. They were great for me in the beginning. But then these the, the broker agents, just kind of understanding them. They're young. You can kind of tell by people answering the phone. Um, they're just trying to make their, their margin. Brokers typically are going to get about... 10 to 30 percent margin so you figure a thousand dollar load they're keeping 300 max or more they'll they'll try to get more i've, I've heard brokers bragging about making a thousand dollars on a two thousand dollar load so um that's just it just trying to put it back in our pockets trying to give us money we're the ones out here we're doing what we do yes i have a lot of nice things i've worked hard for them i have a lot of equity in my house i made good decisions i guess after i didn't make great decisions my whole life but uh now we're trying to do that so not a trucking video today, but hopefully a little bit of insight to how I book loads, how I talk to people, um, the games that are played. And when they say, oh, that load was just booked, there's a chance it was just booked, but there's also a chance that they just bounced it and they don't have to move it right now. So they can just bounce it, which means I'll push it to Monday and list it again. So just little things I'm trying to teach you guys. So when you're booking your loads, you're maximizing your time at home, maximizing your uh, profit. Got some good football games uh, this weekend, some playoffs. So guess not all is lost i can watch that um i'm gonna head into the bank right now and then get back home and then we'll go home and we'll check out t-dub's meatloaf she made a meatloaf today so we'll check that out say goodbye to everybody and praise lucy for getting uh rid of the rodent but here's the video of lucy getting the rodent lucy 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 so lucy did it guys look look at her look she has a mouse. She got it. How'd she get it? I don't know. Oh, she got it though. Good girl. It's just good girl. And good girl. Oh, good girl, dude. Ew, now I gotta wash my hands though with the bottle I know. Here, Tiki, you get one too. Want you wanna give her one too? Yeah. Can I try one too? Can I try one too? There you go. Say good girl, Lucy. Can I try one too? Come here, Luce. Can I try one too? Tell her she's a good girl. Can you give me my logo? Sure. Good girl. Good girl. So, mom worked hard on this, huh? Yes. Uh, her... <laughs> Just don't break that, mom. Spent countless hours. What do we got going on here? This kid does love peas. He loves peas. He does love peas. But you don't, so I made you. Thanks for the broccoli. Meatloaf. I love it. Hey, how you doing? He's been a little grumpy all day, so. And uh, where's Lucy? Congrats, Lucy. Did you so did you just like see it happen or what? No. Came downstairs and she was running outside with it? I was upstairs and I was walking downstairs and Casey was running upstairs and he's like, 
It's a field mouse. Whatever. Not a rat. Uh, he said rat though? Yeah, he said rat. Well, maybe he said mouse. I'm pretty yeah. sure he said rat. And I was like, uh, gross. So then you came downstairs and he was running outside? Or she was running outside? Yeah, she was running outside. Well, I, made, I wanted her to go outside. I didn't want her to be. Lucy, good job, baby. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. You got it, baby. All right, guys. Well, God bless you. She took the mouse outside? Yeah, it's still out. Wow. And she brought it back. Oh. And I had to get it. A little sanitized? And when I saw it, yeah. no, when I saw it, it was in the toilet. <laughs> she brought it upstairs? Yeah, it was in the toilet. Dude. All right. Well, guys, God bless you. We're going to meet loaf no loads today. Um, not all is lost, though. We uh, got a little bit of info from Coyote and everything else. And see if we can get something Monday. And we still got to deliver the Shelby. It's going to be a hard goodbye. On that one, yeah. that's my first race car. Aww. I don't like the new race car. I really like it. Oh yeah! All right, guys. God bless you. See you next one. So I don't think the cat knows that Lucy got the uh, mouse because she has been, or he has been sitting here, staring at the spot the mouse went into. Okay, kitty. Lucy got the mouse, bud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You still waiting to see if it's gonna come out? Good, good boy. Good kitty. Good kitty. Oh yeah. He definitely still thinks that the mouse is in there.